Everyone is talking about gold, but I believe investors should have their ears to this moody metal. And I'm not talking Evanescence, Tool, or Symphony X. Hi, I'm Matthew Carr, Chief Trend Strategist for The Oxford Club, and welcome to this week's episode of Market Trends. This was supposed to be the year of nickel's rebound. Some analysts had forecast the industrial metals price would increase 20%, but that's only the beginning. By 2025, we're talking about nickel prices surging to over $25,000 per metric ton, and by 2027, topping $28,000 per ton. Those are prices that we haven't seen since the glory days of 2006. So what's causing all of this optimism and this surge in nickel prices? Well, if we think back to last week's episode of Market Trends, the global expansion of electric vehicles. Here, this is putting a lot of demand on the nickel industry. In fact, the demand for nickel in EV batteries is supposed to increase more than tenfold from where it was in 2018 to where it will be in 2025. But here's the deal. Nickel has long earned its reputation as the most volatile of metal contracts. It is the moodiest of all metals. And if we look at the last three-year price chart for nickel, we can see just what a roller coaster ride that it's been. That from December 2018 to October 2019, nickel's price surged more than 70%. You had this speculation that there was a shortage. You had Indonesia that was going to ban exports in 2020. Well, then all of a sudden, all of that, some of that turned out to be fake. Nickel prices collapsed. Then we get into 2020 and we're hit with COVID 19. And by March, Nickel's prices have fallen all the way down to $11,200. But since then, we've rebounded. We're now more than $14,800 per metric ton. But here's the thing. There are even brighter days ahead. Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently called on the industry to be more efficient and more environmentally friendly. And those companies that did that would be uh, rewarded greatly from the EV maker. Musk said, Tesla will give a giant contract for a long period of time if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. That sentence right there caused nickel prices to jump from $13,100 per metric ton to $13,700 per ton. Now they've since continued to, to ramp up higher. But here's the deal, right? There's a lot of pressure on the nickel industry because EV batteries, right? This demand, there's expected to be more than 28 million electric vehicles worldwide by 2030. So here's the situation. Right now, there is a surplus in the nickel markets. That's simply because of COVID-19, the pandemic. A lot of nickel demand is used for stainless steel. When you have a lot of this, this gloomy economic activity, that kind of dries up. So there is a short-term uphill climb, but I do think we have the potential to see these $25,000 per metric ton prices in the very near future. But we also have to understand the nickel market itself. Nickel is a $20 billion annual industry. Now, two thirds of that production goes towards stainless steel and 60% of total production comes from just 10 companies. These 10 companies right here. Now, this is both a curse and a blessing. So on one side, there is this very limited pool of real players to choose from. On the other side, you don't have to do anything too fancy to really find a great company that's going to reward you for the long term. And there's one company on that list that I believe investors really should focus on, Brazil's Valet. Now, first off, new discoveries are very rare in the nickel industry. Valet has had some very recent very attractive discoveries made. It is also the world's largest producer of nickel. In fact, for 2020, we're talking that it's expected to produce somewhere between 180,000 to 190,000 metric tons of nickel. On top of that, shares right now are trading for less than $12 and the company has a 4.6 annual dividend yield, right? So this is a great opportunity because that means investors can buy shares cheap, let that drip that dividend reinvestment program do its thing and you can ride shares back up to near those $40 highs the last time we saw nickel prices at the levels 
that they're forecast to be in 2025 and 2027. The forecast for EV battery demand is impossible to ignore, but don't expect a smooth ride. Nickel is the moodiest of all metals. But for investors with a long-term time horizon, 10 years or more, this is a perfect opportunity to buy shares of a company for cheap that offers a great dividend yield. And if you have the stomach to ride out this roller coaster, then you have the potential to win big. I'm Matthew Carr, Chief Trend Strategist for The Oxford Club. Thank you for watching this episode of Market Trends. For more information like this, be sure to go down to the description and sign up for my free e-letter. Until next time, here's to high returns.